Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to integrate other UI components into the Syncfusion React Tabs component using a template. In this example, you will see how different components like chart, calendar, and dropdown list are integrated as individual tab items. I will show you the code snippet to achieve this. I open a React application where I have already added the React tab component with a few basic properties. If you would like to know how to create a React app and add the Syncfusion React tab component to it, click the video link in the card above. Now I run this example using the command npm start. The tab component is rendered with three headers, HTML, Java, and JavaScript. I plan to add the React chart, calendar, and drop-down list components to the tab component. So primarily, I need to install these component packages in the application. Let me show you the steps to add the chart component as the first tab item in the component. So let me install the chart component using the command npm install. At syncfusion slash ej2 react charts hyphen hyphen save After that, I import the chart component from the ej2 react charts package. As you know, I am going to add a chart component in the first tab item, so I change the header text as chart and the content value as chart template. Then, I define the function chart template, which receives an argument of type JSX element. Inside this function, I include the chart component tag and add the series collection directive and series directive tags with the series type as line. I import the line series module into the services. To use the line series module, I need to import it from the Syncfusion EJ2 React Charts package. For this chart component, I plan to add a JSON data source. Therefore, I create a chart data object and assign an array of objects with two fields, namely month and sales value. Then I assign this object to the data source property and map the data source fields month and sales value to the X name and Y name properties. Then, I import the category module from the EJ2 React Charts package. And I inject it into the services. As I am using the category type data source in the X axis, I set the primary X axis property and set the value type as category. If you want to know more about chart component, refer to the documentation link in the description below. Now, you can see the first tab is displayed with the chart component and the other two tab items have string content. Next, I will place the calendar and drop-down list components as tab items, so I will explain the steps to be followed. First I install the calendar component using the command npm install. At Syncfusion slash EJ2 React Calendars hyphen hyphen save. Then I install the drop down list component using the command npm install. At Syncfusion slash EJ2 React Dropdowns hyphen hyphen save. I import the calendar and dropdown list from the Syncfusion EJ2 React calendars and dropdowns packages. Next, I change the second header text value to calendar and the third header text value as dropdown list. And I change the second tab item directive tag content value as calendar template. Then I define the function calendar template, which receives an argument of type JSX element. Inside this function, I include the calendar component tag. I do the same for third tab item directive tag. 
For the drop-down list, I need to populate the data source. So let me pass an array of strings to the sports data variable. Now, I assign this variable to the data source property and define the placeholder property with the appropriate value to display it as placeholder text and set the width property. Along with this I need to import CSS for these components in the app CSS file. If you want to know more about calendar and drop-down list components, refer to the documentation links in the description below. Look, the tab component displays three tab items with headers and content. If I switch the tab headers one by one, I can view the calendar and drop-down list components. In this video, I have shown you how to integrate React UI components as a tabs pane inside the tab component. If you would like to try out the example used in this video, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also shared a link where you can learn about obtaining a free license key to use our React Suite through our community license if you are eligible. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.